Disclaimer, this channel and all its videos are meant for a PG-13 audience. With that out of the way, enjoy this video. Have you ever heard people say that when there's a sequel, they wish that there was a third one? Well, here's the third one. That's right, I got more magazine characters to talk about. And it's not just the humans, we got some engines too. If this is the first video you've seen in this series, don't worry, you can watch these out of order. So with that out of the way, let's get into the video. So, what are the characters we want to start with, you might wonder? Well, I'm going for the characters that are kind of actually related to the Railway series, and they are the Red Engines. No, not these two Red Engines. Sodor has three more Red Engines. It's kind of crazy. This first one appears in the book Thomas and the Tiger. I know that's not a magazine story, but I forgot to talk about that in my Thomas Mini Books video. And it appears on Strom Hat's wall. And then the other two appear in a fun to learn magazine book and they are errors of james but they look different enough where i consider them their own engine next up we have a human character which i think you'll find interesting he is webman and he is a famous superhero yes i'm serious tom's friends has their own superhero will spider-man across the spider-verse feature webman come on sony this is a lot of money you're just passing up like three dollars worth Webman actually captures a criminal while he's on Sodor, and he captures a jewel thief, with Harold, of course, where he is dressed as the Webman Mobile. Um, yeah, it's a little weird. There are more superheroes to mention, and they are Tyroman and the Fang. They're not really that interesting. Their designs are okay. There are some bank robbers, which do kind of look like farmers, and not robbers, honestly, which... I kind of wish that they took down instead of the police. Next, we have Dan. Dan is Duck's driver's son, and Dan looks like he's having a hard time coping with that broken toy he has there. Next, we have the jeweler. Edward saw this man run out of Strom Hat's office with Strom Hat's watch and his wife's necklace. He boarded Emily's train, and Edward stopped Emily, and the man was searched and explained that he was just a jeweler. Next, we have the film star. She visited Sodor in a seaplane, and Neville, being Neville, didn't know what a seaplane was and was shocked to see a plane in the sea, and he kind of freaked out about it, which I think it's actually kind of funny. Which, I really like that story idea, even for Neville, which is basically a nothing character. I like that, making nothing characters have something. Since we're speaking of film stars, let's go on to the famous film star. James was given the special job of collecting her, but her silk scarf blew away and landed on a rooftop. Thomas had to go get it, and yeah, she's worried that much about a scarf? Next is the doctor. Who is he? That I don't know, but he did help with a hat when he wasn't feeling well. Next is Percy's driver's nephew, William. William's kind of boring, but he does love to travel. Up next is Mr. and Mrs. Ball. They are the owners of Dingley Hall. Next is a great duo, Bill and Tim. They appear in a learning magazine, and look at Tim giving that direction to Bill. What great teamwork I'm seeing right there, I'm so proud of you both. Next, we have the temporary controller. He fell in a strong hat while he was away, which makes you think, why wasn't he in Big Old Big Adventures, the movie? That could have helped a lot. Now, as fun as it was to see Mr. Percival control the railway, it would have been cool to see the temporary controller fill in for Mr. Percival on the narrow gauge railway. Next, we have Arkwright. He's the captain of his own yellow canal boat. I kind of like that. Next, we have the Erie Engine. The Erie Engine is basically a sculpture of scrap. Thomas saw the Erie Engine at a scrapyard and thought it was alive. It's kind of creepy, honestly. Next are the very important people. They are very important. One of them is even the mayor. Next up, we have a famous DJ from Radio Sodor, and that is Restless Eric. He held a pop concert called Sodor Goes Pop at one point. It's kind of interesting. Alright, those are most of the interesting human characters. The rest, I'll cover them pretty fast, and then we'll move on to the other characters. We got the golfers, the shepherd, Bert Coke, the bride and the groom, the special station master, the cafe owner, the chimney sweep, the painter and decorator, the barley corn farm shepherd, the ice cream man, the end of the rainbow owner, Dingley's hall manager, the two smartly dressed women, Danny, the coal man, Miss Brown, the black bearded man, Nurse O'Neill, Mr. O'Neill, 
the balloon seller, the art thief, the art gallery manager, Stephen and his mother, the elderly lady, Paul Walford, Danny Day, the Sherberts, Sam the Shepherd, Roddy Bulby, the nurse, Fred the Fogman, the milkman, the sculptor, the mine inspector, Alf, Nellie, Farmer Colette's wife, the canoeist, the magician and the witch, Adam and Debbie, the soldiers, Ted, the small boy, Sleepy Sam, the ice artist, the vet, the mail manager, the forest ranger, the car ferry manager, the famous rider, the fried fish man, the injured mountain climber, Kit's owner, Kit's dog by the way, S. Jones, Mr. Savino, the Sodor Toy Factory Manager, Marcus, Ellsbridge Rovers FC Manager, the Head Keeper, the Skipper, the Scrap Man, Smiley the Clown, the Sodor Jazz Band, the Artist, the Acrobats, the Sign Writer, the Priest, Simon, Joe, Jill and Jane, the Mayor of Wellsworth, the Carnival Queen, and finally, the Sodor Laundrette Manager. Wow, that is a lot of humans I just listed there. But now since we're done with the humans, characters, let's go on to some more engines. Here we have the old guard's van. I found this picture on Pinterest, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's official, but if it's not, let me know. The old guard's van was found by Thomas and Percy at the harbor. They saw how miserable he was, but they had a surprise for him. He was going to be turned into a birdhouse, and now he's a place for birds to live in. I'm pretty sure he likes it. Next is the bright truck. This truck was overturned on Thomas's branch line, and it was kind of old. After Terrence meets the truck, Thomas gets an idea. After Thomas tells Strum Hat, they get the truck painted and repaired, and they put flowers to brighten it up, and it gets painted a nice yellow. Next, we have the car train. Now, this engine is a crazy idea. It's like Flynn, except it doesn't talk, and it's funny to look at, and the car actually doesn't go on the tracks. But this is just funny i like seeing this train just on the road especially teaming it up with george that's like that has to be the best idea for a new george story i absolutely love this character next up we have the mainland traction engines they are a group of traction engines that are friends with trevor here are what their bases would look like if they were in the story i just would have seen them it might have been interesting but i feel like these were too interesting of characters to leave out of the video so here's what their bases are for the next character we have the poster engine this is one of the blue engines i mentioned in the last magazine video but i forgot to put it in the poster engine is advertising summer excursions next up we have the high speed post train it works on british railways and it delivers packages between sodor to the mainland it only appeared in one story and it was toby and the mail train and for the last character, I saved an interesting one. We have Silver. Silver appears in the story Magic Spell, and Boko was telling Scarlobe a story about Silver. He was the fastest engine, he was always boasting to other engines, until one day, a wizard put a curse on him, and it turned Silver into a rusty slow engine. He became the laughing stock to other engines, and was renamed Tramp. That's a little messed up. That'll be it for this video, and probably this series. I don't think I've found any more magazine characters I haven't already covered. I was thinking about redoing the first video in this series because, well, it's not that great, and the narration was really rushed, and when I did that, it was like 12 a.m., like it is now, so I've improved a lot. Maybe that can be a January 2022 video. Just let me know if you all want that. But if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. It really helps out the channel. Now, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, everyone. Mm -hmm.